this area here had no water through our drought and is doing really well. The valerian's doing great. And these seed heads, I love these verbascum mullen mixed seed heads. They're a wonderful thing and hopefully lo loads more will sow. And I'm loving how this purple, uh, oh, my head's gone flat. I can't think of the name of this tree. It's a small growing tree. But look at the purple. This is fantastic, the purple. This is the perennial sweet pea. It has no smell, but it's beautiful. Look, this is, what was, those are, all those are the seed heads. They flowered earlier, but this is so lovely. I love its little purple. Um, it's little purple and yellow and orange nose sticking out. Anyway, these are looking good. These sweet peas, the perennial sweet peas with some black eyed Susans peering through. You can see there. Hey, chuckalooks. The chickens are protected with lots of passion flower. You can see. You've had your food today and you've had your herbs. So here's the um, wonderful daisies coming up later in the season. These are the um, evening primrose, which are doing really well. None of this got watering. Oxide daisies having a second bloom. None of these had water. The yarrow has gone to seed. This is the yarrow. More oxide daisies. Look at that, all very drought tolerant plants doing really, really, really well. I'm very pleased. Here's the artichoke. It's a blooming artichoke. It's not an edible artichoke. It's slightly fading, but it's great. More the passion flower, evening primrose, all doing really, really well. Over here, no water. This is the uh, American pokeweed. It has this amazing purple berries, but you can see the birds have been eating them. The berries are all missing because the birds have been eating them. Then uh, here's the butterfly bush, if you will, a lovely purple one. And then this beautiful black elder. Its flowers are over and its berries are fattening up. And over here, this spindle, one of my favorite autumn colors is spindle. You can see these are the berries that are beginning to, and I love how the berries, they produce this orange. You'd think the pink and the orange would clash. Us humans, it clashes when we do it, but when nature does it, it doesn't clash. It's amazing. I love these berries and their clashing colors. Anyway, the, the leaves of spindle turn a beautiful pink in the autumn. And you can see these spindles, the wind is picking up because we've got a storm coming. Look at this spindle. Isn't that just glorious? Look at that. So the birds love eating spindle. And this sweep down here of trees is silver birch and spindle. And silver birch, which is in front of us here and here, all goes this fantastic yellow and this goes pink so give me another couple of years and there will be a beautiful yellow and pink swathe for the autumn so i'm really looking forward to when that occurs but look at these pink it's so beautiful is the autumnal colors of spindle i'm a huge spindle fan so I can't wait till, I'd say give me another three years and all those silver birch. Here you can see this silver birch is beginning to turn yellow, but all those silver birch along there, all the way along and down there will all start turning yellow together. And the spindle, you can see some of the spindle is already going pink right there. It's gonna look fantastic. That was the aim of that plantation.
to get that color. And you guys are screaming. You've had breakfast. Yeah, noisy lot of chancers, aren't you? Now they've got this paddock, that paddock, and that field. So they've got plenty to eat. They're just complaining. Ah, and here comes Ebony. Hey, you. What you complaining about now? Really? You all want to go through the little gate, do you? You're hungry, lots of ladies. <laughs>